Hello and welcome to another video. In previous video, I showed you how to develop a graph rag using Neo4j Knowledge Graph, how to develop a React agent using LangGraph and use your Neo4j Knowledge Graph as a tool, and how to add memory, short term and long term, to your React agent. So until now, I just showed you how to develop one agent at a time. But in this video, we want to go one step further. I want to show you how to develop a multi-agent architecture and have a supervised agent to control these agents and call them whenever it's needed. If you're new here, I would be glad if you subscribe my channel. This gives me motivation to make more video like this for you. My name is Homayun and I open this channel to help you to be updated with recent technology and show you how to implement them efficiently. So this is the architecture of our previous project. We just had one LLM and based on the user query LLM, call the tools and return the response to the user in a structured format. And all the history will be kept in short term and long term. However, right now we have a new system design. So what is happening here is that we have a supervisor agent that is connected to two different agents, search agent and database agent. The search agent is able to search any queries using Tavili. Tavili is a search engine. I put the link to the Tavili website in the description. But for those who doesn't know, it's just a third party that they develop a search engine for the LLM. Each of these agents has a system prompt. In system prompt, we explain what are our expectations from the agent and what is the role of that agent. On the other hand, we have database agent. Database agent is exactly the previous agent that we developed. The only difference is that we are allowing the database agent to write into the knowledge graph too. So whenever the supervisor agent asked for inserting any information to the knowledge graph, database agent will take care of it and add the information to the knowledge graph. Also, if you pay attention, we don't have any memory for database agent or search agent. The only memory that we have here is for the supervisor agent and it's a short term memory. And supervisor needs a memory to control the history of the conversation, the state of the conversation and the relation between the messages. So this architecture, this system design that you're looking at it is an agentic rack. In this system, Supervisor agent try to fetch related information to the user query from the database. And if information will not exist inside the database, supervisor agent decide to use the search agent and retrieve the information from public resources and then return it to the user. If user want to keep them, user ask to save the information inside the knowledge graph. So the retrieved information from public resources will be saved into the knowledge graph for the future. This is good because in the future, if user asks the same question, agent will retrieve the answer from the knowledge graph. Let's see how we can build this agentic rack. We start our process with developing the search agent. Then we create the knowledge graph, the database agent, and finally the supervisor agent. I'm using the code from previous project. So if you want to have access to this code, I will put the link in the description. First of all, let's create the first agent node, which is search agent. This agent used Tavli as a search engine, which is a tool for this agent. So we go to the config folder and define Tavli as our search engine. I already uh, added the Tavli API to my environment variables, but using the link in the description, you can get your own API. This Tavli search is returning the top 10 result that is related to the query in English language, and it's using the deep search and a smart ranking to retrieve the relevant information. Now that we have defined our config, we go to the tools, we add the search engine to our tools file and we add the search engine tool to the tools file. Now that we have the tool, we go to the prompts and this is the prompt from the previous project. We go to the prompt and 
we define the search agent prompt. It's a simple prompt. We just say that never answer anything from your own existing knowledge base. And if you didn't find the answer, only say, I didn't find the answer. Now we have everything. We have config, we have the tool, and we have the prompt. So it's to, time to define our agent. And this is our search agent. It uses the tool that we define in a tools file. It uses the prompt that we define in a prompts file. And we just give a name to this agent. So supervisor agent can talk to this agent based on its name. And that's how it is. This is the search agent. Let's go to develop the database agent. Our database agent is using the new 4G that already we defined it in the config file in our previous project. The only thing that we need is to add a new tool so we can insert information to the new 4G along with retrieving the information. And this is the function for adding the summary that already been generated based on the search result to the new 4G. We have a simple cipher query that creates a search node and the property of text is the value of the search result summary. And this function that is the config file for new4j is being called and it runs the cipher query and ingests everything to the new4j. And it just returns that I added everything to the search node into the new4j. And the next thing that we need is a prompt. You can pause this video and read this prompt. It's a simple prompt just to tell the agent that what is the role and what you should do exactly based on each scenario. Now that we have everything, we can define our agent as a node. I call this Knowledge Graph Agent. Our Knowledge Graph Agent is simple. It's super simple. We just use the Create React Agent from the Lang Graph that Simply, they create an agent which has the ability of the tool calling. We just need to define the LLM that we want to use, the tools that we want to use, and the prompt, the system prompt for that agent. And also a name that is same as the previous agent in order to let the supervised agent to talk to these agents. The last thing that we need to define is the supervisor agent. Supervisor agent doesn't have access to any tool, but it has access to different two different agents that we already developed. But the main thing of the supervisor agent is the prompt. And we just define that what kind of agents you have access to and what these agents do exactly and which agent you should use based on the user's query. And Finally, we come here and we supervisor. We define the file for the supervisor node, and this is the code for calling the supervisor function. It's exactly a function named create supervisor from the LangGraph supervisor library. I added everything to the requirements. So you can just easily install all the dependencies that you need. Now that we have everything, let's go to the main file. And I generated this code for the stream bleed with the chat GPT. And these are the agents that I already defined. And I'm just calling the agents here, as you see. And I keep the history in the session. And that's it. Simply, I'm passing the human message to the agent and invoking the agent. Let's run this agent and see. And this is our agent. Let's ask a question. I want to ask a question that I'm sure it's not existing in the knowledge graph. I say, what are the impacts of AI agents on industry and employment. And this is the agent response. But let's see what happened exactly inside the agent. I want to go to the Langesmith and check this. So
So I asked this question, what are the impact of AI agents on industry and employment? This query was passed to the supervisor agent and supervisor agent passed it to the knowledge graph. Knowledge Graph tried to retrieve some relevant information, but the information that retrieved was not relevant, obviously. This is the story of Napoleon. So Knowledge Graph said that I didn't find an answer. And this was returned to the supervisor agent. Supervisor agent now had to call the search engine agent. And search engine agent, using this query, retrieved 10 results using the search engine function that we defined and generated a summary at the end using those information. These information returned to the supervisor agent and supervisor agent generated the response for us. Now, I want to ask that save this response into the knowledge graph. Save this response into the knowledge graph. There we go. Now let's go to the knowledge graph and here is our search node that you can see the response is saved into the node. And that's how it is. That's how you can develop an agentic rag using the supervisor architecture. Let me know if you have any question in the comment and I will appreciate if you like this video or share it with your friends who you think that they need to watch this too. Take care and see you in the next video.